Now, the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy Joint Parliamentary Group claims the Jubilee government is scheming to make Kenya a police state through what it calls, it describes rather, as the notorious Nyumba Kumi project. Code expressed concern over the escalating cases of insecurity in the country and accused the government of failing to provide security to its citizens. And in what appears to be Code's strategy to pile pressure on the Jubilee government, the coalition has given President Uhuru Kenyatta a two-week ultimatum to appoint a tribunal to investigate the September Westgate Mall terror attack. Patrick Amimo reports. Parliamentarians allied to the Code Coalition converged at Orange House under the leadership of their principals Raila Odinga, Kalonzo Musioka and Moses Wetangula. Although they strategized on how to win the upcoming by-elections slated for December 2nd, their focus was mainly on the country's security. The lawmakers say the patterns of violence shows that the government has failed in one of its core mandates, providing security to all Kenyans. State actors and non-state actors. Former Provincial Commissioner Joseph Kagudi has been appointed to chair a task force to spearhead the Nyumba Kumi Initiative, which is a form of community policing. Code lawmakers are faulting the move. Code opposes the Nyumba Kumi project and condemns the inability of the government to secure the lives and property of the people. You don't just wake up one morning and say that a response to what has happened, we are starting in Bakumi, and that it's going to be rolled out. Code accused the Jubilee government of making public appointments that do not reflect regional and ethnic diversity of Kenya. The security docket was singled out. Evidence shows that security personnel in code areas are from particular ethnic communities, which is a matter of grave concern. We are also disturbed by the withdrawal of security detail assigned to the Senate Minority Whip, Senator Johnston Muthama. We read a sinister motive in this and demand the government unconditionally reinstates Senator Muthama's security. And even as the government officially handed over the Westgate Mall to its owners, code lawmakers say there is a resistance from the National Intelligence Service, Kenya Defense Force and the police to establishment of a commission of inquiry on the September terror attack on the mall. In the aftermath of the attack, President Uhuru Kenyatta said the government would form a commission of inquiry to unmask circumstances surrounding and leading to the attack and crack the whip on those who could have slept on the job. The National Assembly probed the attack but has not tabled its findings. Cod demands the president appoints the commission of inquiry within 14 days from today. Otherwise, otherwise Cod will take any action it deems necessary in order to ensure the truth comes out. Code lawmakers say they will oppose any legislation before parliament which is geared towards emasculating non-governmental organizations. It will be interesting to see how the government will respond to the Code Coalition's demands. Party Kamimo, KTN, Nairobi.